Hey there guys, it's been a while, but uh, I've been digging around, uh, digging around, hanging, hanging out with uh, a few of the guys from the Geek Group, and a little bit that's inspired by uh, Captain Bowden, making fulgurites, and for those of you that don't know what a fulgurite is, well, put it this way, if you've been on the Geek Group, you'll know what you'll know what they are. But for those of you that don't know, they're a, a tubular glass structure that's made when lightning impacts with sand. And uh, this is a little one for Chris. Now oh, that little beauty. Now at the Geek Group, they have. Uh, a 200 kVA power supply. Now, what I've got here is nowhere near that. But this was just a little test I did last night, just as a as a proof of concept. But the simple little arrangement I have here, terracotta pot, as you can see, with a screw stuck to the grounding plate. Now the screw goes up the hole in the middle of the pot, and then when I get the bag up here, the pot gets filled up with sand. There we go, one pot full of sand. Don't really have to level it out, but I do anyway. Now, 200 kVA with their uh, rather large pole peaks. And here I am with just uh, a small group of moths. Well, there is another thing I'm going to try. Okay. They all have um, the screw in the base as an electrode, but that one I'm going to try it differently, like that. Well, as I say in the business, here goes nothing. Just to prove we have power. Now, all I was getting before, when I first tried out, I was trying it like this. No. In she goes. And it's just a case of finding that electrode. Get the arc. Once I've got the arc, now one thing you've got to be careful about is these are extremely bright.
Now one problem I had last night was uh, I was creating too much corona and I've lost that arc for too long but trust me there is a fulgurite in there. connection with the screw on that one. Ever so quiet in here. doing is just ever so slowly drawing out the chicken stick. Just to keep the arc maintained. the arc again. But, again, there is one in there. This one I'm going to do slightly differently. As one can see, paste a plug in first. See, I'm definitely getting power. Drag out a nice slender one. And unfortunately it broke on me. Again, unplug, safety first, drop that off. And that's still way too hot to handle. 
so this is going to be an extremely gentle pickup. They're not big. Trust me, Captain, I know you're going to watch this. Uh, you make them a lot bigger, mate. But, like I said at the start of the video, this is just simply a proof of concept. lost it again. Well, very, very simple idea actually, but uh, not the sort of thing that you want to go doing if you have no experience with electricity, especially high voltage electricity. But, like I said, there you go Captain. Just to give it a better idea of the size of it, there's my thumb. And that's the length of that one. Now, I might go with some slightly smaller hot fingers. That one is a very, very delicate one. And yes, I can get my finger in there, but I ain't pulling the fulgurides out. Um, what I'm going for me. Oh, actually, can I just. I'll do another one in there. See if I can manage to sustain the arc long enough. To actually get a fulgurite to run the width of the pot. Let's just get some heat into that. Get it really cooking. Now that should definitely about do. As usual, always unplug. And even there, 
tiny, tiny little glass fibre. Well guys, uh, when it comes to uh, anything, uh, oh well, let's put it this way. Uh, I'm going to put links in the description so any of you that aren't on the Geek Group, go and check it out. Go and check out Project Gemini making full the rights. There we go. I know it's not a not a hugely impressive display, but it did work. You never get branched uh, branch full rights like uh, like what you get with Project Gemini, but there we go. There's another one. And I think I might have just broken that one. It's too hot to stick your fingers in there. So what I'm going to do is have a look at that one tomorrow morning. Well guys. As per usual, make sure you play safe and thanks for watching.